let's talk about Witcher season two. I'll preface this by saying I don't really remember season one at all and I had no interest in going back to rewatch it. The way they chopped up the timeline for basically no real reason did not sit well with me and did not make me enjoy it more. But by the end, Geralt has Siri and Yennefer blew up an army. Great. That's basically all I needed to know heading into season two. I do know that season two has largely departed the story of the books, which I didn't read anyways. I played the games, but I don't really remember much about those other than like, I'm chasing down Siri and the wild hunt scary or something, you know? I'm not one of those people who really cares if a story in the show deviates from the books. I judge them as their own things. And so if I say something here that criticizes the show and the book has a good reason for it, just like I said for Wheel of Time, I don't care. You don't need to tell me that the, the show actually did this wrong and in the books it was this way. My criticisms of the show are just of the show. Don't worry, I'm sure the book is great. Final thing I'll say is this will start spoiler free and then when I get into some of the criticism, especially in the second half of the show, where most of my criticisms are anyways, that part will have spoilers. So let's start. This was a story of two halves for me. I loved the beginning and I was really enjoying the show and then it kind of fell off a cliff. So what did I enjoy? First off, Really like to start with episode one being this kind of more insular story, slow, introspective, getting you to feel the world and the characters. Relatively deep, honestly, in terms of the complexity with some of the themes and seeing how they all react to these different moments. Uh, I really enjoyed that. And the short story element of The Witcher really came through here and felt great. Um, and then I really enjoyed kind of where it went from there with some really strong character moments between Siri and uh, Geralt, I just like seeing them at Kaer Morin training, the other witchers interacting with her, a bunch of people who should not be dads, but kind of acting like them. Like, I don't think this is spoilers, by the way, but like, you know, it was just all fun to see and had some really good moments. It was cool to watch Siri, you know, be this strong character who wants to step up and, and actually learn the witcher ways and a lot of things. So I really enjoyed that. On the point of dialogue, it's probably a little contentious, but the show goes for a pretty anachronistic use of language. Uh, people swear kind of like the modern day and I'm here for it, honestly. I don't need every fantasy show to be written like they're this abomination of not really how Middle English was spoken, but how we perceive it in fantasy circles. Like, I'm finally just watching people drop F-bombs left and right and say all these funny things. So I was totally down for that. I largely enjoyed the combat, though it didn't feel quite as good as season one in some areas. And I later learned that Henry Cavill had like a hamstring injury or something. And so maybe they couldn't go as hard because like nothing compared to that first opening fight in the alleyway in the season two or in season one that nothing compared to season two. But I still largely enjoyed the, the combat and the fighting and these kinds of things. Special effects are more well done. They're not trying to do quite as much. Uh, and there's a couple awkward shots here and there, but more or less, it's, it's pretty fun to watch. I liked a lot of the character moments as well, just seeing people struggle with these things. Yennefer is still cool, though I really hated something they did with her that I'll, I'll cover in the spoiler section. I just like seeing some of the lore of the monsters, you know, like they're these fairy tale things from Polish culture that are a little foreign to me, um, but it's cool to see them explored here. I will also say that the politics are largely well done in the large scale. Like I understand the moves that each of the people was trying to make on the board, though sometimes their specific tactics and strategy to get those moves accomplished were a little bit of head scratchers. Not in terms of I didn't understand them, but like I just don't think they actually made any sense. And we'll dig into that as well. Now, the large scale plot line, once you move beyond the slice of lifey moments with the characters that was a little bit more of a focus in the first half of the show, and you get into the, the plot of the second half, that's where it really fell apart to me. So one of the first criticisms I'd have is that a lot of characters quite literally ran in circles, it felt like, just spinning their wheels, accomplishing nothing. To the point that it kind of felt like a CW show. Like, I've watched a lot more of the Vampire Diaries than I want to admit because of uh, watching them with my girlfriend. And like, one thing that you'll see that they always do with these is like, a character will leave and then come back, but then like these two people were looking for each other, but now they can't stay for some reason. So they, they break off again, which is exactly what happened here. We're like, Yennefer is captured by Nilfgaard and then escapes with the help of some elves and does some weird stuff with them, then returns to Aratuza, doesn't really like what's going on there. So then she runs away with a Nilfgaard guy to go back to Nilfgaard, but then decide, cause she thinks she wants something there, but then decides not to go to Nilfgaard because Yeskir, after not really liking him, but he he gets taken. So then she suddenly decides that's more important. So she goes to help Yaskir, but then she has to accept the hut lady's help to get away. And then she tells her to go to Siri. So then she's like, okay, I'll go capture this, this Siri girl who I don't really know. And then like Siri wants to find Geralt at one point and Geralt wants to find Siri. And they're just like kind of looking in different places and then they meet each other. But now Geralt needs to fight a monster. So Siri goes away somewhere else on her own, even though Geralt has brought Siri on monster monster hunts before and even used her as bait. But suddenly it's like, no, 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 not this one. Taking Yennefer's powers just sucked. I mean, I, I hear that this is a change from the book. 
and it just took away something that made her really cool. At least The Witcher had the good sense to keep kind of these shenanigans focused on their main cast of characters. So even though I thought sometimes the characters' decisions or the plot elements going around them were a little nonsensical, at the very least, I was watching the characters I wanted to watch do things. Um, there's another show that happened at the same time, Wheel of Time, which did not even focus on its main characters while shenanigans were happening. So at least this was an advantage for The Witcher. Where it really did start to irk me though, was with the turbo fast travel that got enabled. I mean, this is a world with portals and those moments I can largely excuse, but it's just also about how much can happen in a single day and time frame. Like they tell me that Amir will be here tomorrow in like episode five. And then there's multiple more episodes where tons of stuff happens and like somehow Amir hasn't shown up yet and they're saving him for quite literally like the final reveal at the end of the show. Like how the fuck did the elves go from being in Sintra to making a whole move up to Redania and then killing a bunch of people within that single day after their baby got murdered, after a bunch of other stuff happened. How did that happen? How did they get there? Where was the defense from Redania? Like how'd they just walk in there if they don't like elves? Like how how is any of this stuff happening? It just doesn't really make sense and they just like want these scenes to happen. There's also some moments that just really annoyed me like Roach's death was so preventable. Like, why not just take Siri off the horse two seconds earlier? It just felt like uh, they wanted to jerk our emotions randomly in the middle of the season over a throwaway monster with no thematic point behind anything that just happened there. I really hated that death more than anything else. And I'd say like the themes of the show were not particularly well thought out through the course of them. If it was supposed to be about found family, which is a cool concept, as well as like destiny. None of these feel particularly well explored throughout the show. All those problems aside, at least there are things I enjoy about this show in terms of its characters and their relationships being explored, which gives it a definitive strength compared to some other shows that are just entirely forgettable. For this reason, I give The Witcher a seven out of 10. It's some good old, Fantasy fun, if you just wanna throw it on the background, you'll see some cool fights, you'll see some interesting characters. The plot will kinda of make sense from a high level, but just don't think too hard about it and enjoy the fun. They've also made a ton of spin-offs already. I know it's a very successful franchise, but after two seasons, this feels a little early and like they're clearly trying to milk an intellectual property that they know people wanna watch. So, leaves a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you agree or disagree with my thoughts on the show, leave a like, a comment, a subscription, please, with the bell ring. I would appreciate all that. Uh, thank you all so much and expect a lot more reviews on the channel.